Women's bodies are incredibly special. They're able to carry a child and give birth. Of course, the decision of whether to have a baby, and if so, when, is different from woman to woman. Whatever you decide, it's important to understand how pregnancy begins, as well as what affects your chances of getting pregnant, so you can plan accordingly. Let's start by looking inside a woman's body. There are a number of organs that work together to produce a baby. Together, they make up the female reproductive system. They are the vagina, uterus, often referred to as the womb, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. The ovaries hold thousands of tiny eggs, but usually only one egg will be released once a month. The egg will travel down one of the two fallopian tubes. If the woman has sex with a man who is not wearing a condom, he can release a white fluid from his penis into her vagina. The fluid contains millions of tiny cells called sperm. For a pregnancy to occur, a sperm cell would need to swim up the vagina and into the uterus so that it can meet the egg that is travelling through the fallopian tube. If none of the sperm reaches the egg, the woman cannot become pregnant and she will have her period for this cycle. If a sperm cell does reach the egg and enters it, the egg becomes fertilised. The fertilised egg needs to travel to the uterus and stick to its inner side for the pregnancy to begin. If this happens, the woman who is now pregnant will not have her period until after the baby is born or the pregnancy has ended. So, how can you improve your chances of getting pregnant? If you're wanting to have a baby, it's best to be at a healthy weight, have sex within a specific window of time during your cycle, avoid drinking too much alcohol, stop smoking, and get tested and treated for any infections. For help with any of these things, you can speak to your doctor. Can couples have sex without getting pregnant? A woman might prefer to wait until a different stage of her life before getting pregnant. She might want to wait a bit since having her last child, or she may simply not want to have a baby at all. All these decisions are completely fine, and it's possible to still have and enjoy sex without getting pregnant by using contraception methods. We take a closer look at these methods in another video called What is Contraception? Now, what if a woman became pregnant but wasn't planning to have a baby? In Australia, there are a few options. She can choose to continue the pregnancy. She can arrange to have the baby adopted once it's born. She can talk to a doctor about ending the pregnancy. These can be difficult decisions, so it's best to get support through your doctor. Remember, the decision of whether to have a baby, and if so, is different for everyone. And it's possible to still have and enjoy sex without getting pregnant. If you find this video useful, you might like to watch the video we mentioned earlier, What is Contraception? or our other related video, What are Periods?